Open World Video Games and Contemporary Art explores how video game culture has influenced contemporary artists. This includes everything from how they make their art, so the processes they use, including digital media, using video games, using open world format video games to create new work. The legend of St. George slaying the dragon has been depicted throughout art history, but this work is undoubtedly one of the most unique interpretations. Though the work may appear at first to be a print made during the Renaissance, it was actually made recently using an ordinary ballpoint pen. This painstakingly rendered drawing by Butt Johnson features exquisite detail throughout, particularly in the modeling of the characters. Inspired by the classic Super Mario Bros. video game, the artist has swapped St. George for the character Mario and replaced the dragon with Mario's nemesis, Bowser. Mario rides his trusty sidekick, Yoshi, while Princess Peach kneels behind them and a frightened toad hides behind her skirt. The title of the work, Mario, the patron saint of Brooklyn, alludes to the home of this fictional character. The classical meander, or decorative border, is made of sewer pipes as a witty reference to Mario's profession as a plumber. Nathan Vincent questions the gender associations of toys with his crocheted art objects. Growing up in conservative rural Midwestern communities in the 1980s, Vincent observed that certain rules governed the toys with which he was allowed to play. For the artist, objects such as video game controllers were clearly cemented in masculine culture, as if to say, quote, this is what it means to be a man, end quote. The artist subverts the masculine stereotype of video games and the violence within by recreating these symbols using a traditional craft most often associated with a feminine warmth and domesticity. New media artist Tabor Robach animates immersive visualizations of virtual environments using generative software he designs himself. To create this work, titled 20XX, he digitally built a futuristic city inspired by real places like the Vegas Strip and Times Square, as well as imagined landscapes from cyberpunk and science fiction themed video games and movies. Logos of video game related companies blink across the facades. The title 20XX indicates a time in the not too distant future, the X's suggesting a date to be determined. This entrancing space is filled with both candy-colored joy and depressing dark emptiness. The artist has called the work bittersweet. He intends watching the animation to elicit the same feeling as exploring an all-consuming open-world video game. Robach says the theme of the work is losing yourself in the game as a kind of irresponsible escapism.